Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here. I've got another um, teardown video for you. Right, these are part, there's, there's a few things I got from Chris. Not Chrissy, Chris W. Who um, gave me a lot of stuff, including the. Um, I still haven't got round to doing the Fairchild yet. Oh well. So, this is a video camera, an old. Hitachi CCTV camera. I'm going to do a full strip down of this. See if it works. I, I don't suspect this will work after I've done this, but it'll be a good teardown video anyway. This was actually given to him by his mum, who, um, remember one day just, just came in and says, here you go, here's a video camera, see what you can do with it. And it, it did work. I remember seeing it work. I think it was a black and white one. So let's um, get on with seeing if this works. Looks like you've got inside here, yeah parts for to turning around for the focus and beam optical focus and beam might be um, something underneath there i'll have a look in a bit got a separate lens with this as well because this comes with a smaller lens and there's a more zoomer lens for obviously security cameras to um zoom in on a certain area back then nowadays things are so small and tiny and zoomable and it's absolutely ridiculous this is completely obsolete but we'll get on with this in a second let's let's plug it in because there's a power light on the front and we'll see if this actually works. So, in she goes. Okay, on, oh, okay, on she goes. Don't hear anything buzzing. Sounds solid enough. Oh, there's a... There's something rattle like that move down then. But I don't know. Seems like it should work. This has to warm up, I don't know. Okay, let, let's um, class that as a, it doesn't work. So let's go to the first thing. Let's have a look, see if the fuse is blowing inside here. Simple to do, unscrew the middle screw with the plug. And screw falls out and, ah, aha, there is no fuse in here. So let's get a fuse. Pot full of fuses. Stick one in. Anything near 13 amp. Just in case. 3 amp, 3 amp, 13's there. Come on. There we go. Right. Back in she goes. See, it's easy enough with plugs lately. There's a certain generation of, of people lately have no idea on them, basic domestic sort of um, electrical skills and they're terrified of it. Probably justify when this thing blows up when I turn it, turn it on now. Oh no, all done. We have. You see, there is a light in there. Why is it showing up? There we go. Better. So this thing is actually on. So it works. I have no idea if I can actually get a um, connector onto this. See if it will work or not. So the power supply works. Yeah. Turns on. A bit angle like that. On. Off. On. Off. So this does actually work. Whether or not I can get a good picture out of this is, is debatable. But let's see if I can try and maybe use something to get the um, components, that should be a component output. So I'm about to cut into a cable and just um, jury-rig it a little bit and see what I can do to try and get a picture on the television. No guarantees. Right then, okay, we've got this thing on in, I've got a cable, one of these um, old phono cables, and what I've done with it is cut the end off, strip the end, there's only a two pin connector this thing, with this, I think it's a BNC connector. It, it, the last time I had one of these connectors, I had a CB and used it for an aerial, and I have not got a, a, anything to do with that in the garage whatsoever. So, centre connection, centre pin in there is going for the centre section of the phono. The outer is the earth, which is fine. It is touching, it's no problem. So, let's get. Just be careful, there's no electrical on this anyway. So, um, let's see, let's pull it out of the TV, see if this actually works. Right, let's turn this on and click. There we go. Ah, hello. Oh, 
So we've got some sort of signal going through. Oh, hello. Ha ha ha. Hello. Hi. Retro Tech Ralph in black and white here. <laughs> Something does actually work. Let's have a, good, a bit of a clean in there. So it does actually completely work, but I think Chris said it was kind of phosphorescent or something and it's kind of, um, yeah, there's not much on a focus lens there, is there? You can see the corner. Can alter the focus, ah, oh, there we go, better. That's better focus. That opens the iris. As you can see it on the screen. That on the right-hand side of the garage door, there's a cupboard behind me, some bog rolls. So what you do is obviously you set it to a certain place Ah, I'll just pull the cable out. Right. Pull the earth off. That's not the end of everything. I'm going to see if I get this bit more permanently on. And we can show you a bit better. Right. We've got the thing on. Hi there, guys. Retro, retro. Take your alpha here. <laughs> so it does all work perfectly fine. It focuses in. The iris. But this is meant to be blue. There you go. <sighs> yeah, it all works, but it kind of, at the same time, it's completely obsolete to even consider having one of these in. So let's get it stripped. Actually, let's, let's, have, a, let's have a look, see if the, um, the lens is just unscrewed from here. I think I've just pulled this. No, they haven't. There's a phosphorescent sort of nothingness on, on the screen. These just screw onto the front. This would obviously be a, a, a zoom in to a, a specific part. Maybe a, an office part or whatever. That's just not, oh yeah, yeah. There we go, right, come here, have a look at this. Right, so that's the garage door. And we have Zoom. Focus, no, it's the iris. Focus is on the front. So it's actually, it's in the corner, there's some, um, you can hardly tell to be honest. But there's some canes there in the corner, a couple of brushes. But zooming out, gardening stuff, front door panel. Strap for opening and shutting. But yeah, it does work really well. And I'm what, eight feet away from the door? And granted that the um, the lens is probably bigger than that anyway. But yeah. So let's get this thing stripped down and see what makes it tick, why it makes it tick, and if it needs to tick anymore. Okay, we're back together. Right, this is a Hitachi CCTV camera. Model number is H for Hotel V for Vec Victor 625K. It's 9 watt, 240 volts at 50 hertz. Serial number is on there anyway. Still got the original plastic on the back of here for, um, for doing... Yeah, for doing stuff. I haven't even bothered taking it off yet. Right. Let's take this to pieces. Looks like four screws on a side, like any normal standard everything, lately. Or this from the past. I mean, nowadays it's kind of plastic and clips. Thanks a lot to the wonderful people who make those. Right, so we've got four screws. It's all metal build, this. Because obviously back then it was the done thing. Before you do anything like this at home, Make sure you're not plugged in. There may be static charge, electrical charge inside here. I'm about to find that out by hopefully not electrocuting myself. All right, it looks like this is the two on the front comes off as well. So that's six holding it on. Probably knack of the. If you look inside there, you, they, these are the the shutter, the sensors the equivalent of, I don't know what year this was actually made well this is the equivalent of a nowadays sensor and they are so tiny nowadays but it's actually not far off what you get nowadays oh my god right I'm not touching a damn thing in there 
as you see there, I think it's a phosphorus tube there. There's a yolk assembly. Look at that. Capacitors, all these, everything in here seem to work. There's a capacitor that's up there for no reason. Get me a piece of plastic. There we go, my scrapers. Can't go wrong with that. Looks like it's been put on later afterwards, possibly. Yeah, HV62S. Why is it in 62S? Well, that's an S then. Okay. Not 625, 62SK. Ah. Okay. This has got to be the power supply on this side. Nice and neat. You see there's no LED on. There is an LED. Oh my goodness. I'm surprised it's a square one. So I love square LEDs. And then onto the uh, section of the front there. Plastic just to relay the um, the light from the LED forward. Why don't I just put a longer LED and actually mount it behind there? I don't know. That would have looked a bit neater. Save another piece of plastic. These are obviously the parts. I'll go that way around. That's the top it. Focus and beam, probably for the setup, not on the actual lenses themselves, because these obviously do everything themselves. The beam would have been the the iris, what they nowadays call it. The section over there for the level. Don't know. Maybe we should have a play. This could only go wrong. Could it not? No, not plugged in. See, it's basically just a. I'm asking for it, Anna. I'm really asking for it. I guess it'd be for re regulating the voltage, potentially. Yeah, transformer of the bike, or is it? Actually, I don't think that is. I think it might be. See, I don't know what to do with this. I've got absolutely no use for it whatsoever. But I don't know what Chris wants to do with this. If he wants to get this thrown in the bin, if he wants this stripping. I'll have to go to a museum, I don't know. There you have it. I mean, the tube there, that, I just, it terrifies me, tubes like that. I know it's only a valve, but that socket should come off. Revealing connectors. Same as what I had with the reel-to-reel -reel recorder. There was a valve on that. Well, there's a few valves on that. It's very interesting to look at. No, put it back in. Thank you. But yeah, there's nothing much different to the nowadays. You've got capacitors, you've got your resistors, solid capacitors, diodes, everything and everything in here. Variable resistors. Anything and everything. But yeah, I don't think it's worth a full strip down to, to, for parts. I don't need anything on here at all for parts. But it's a good look at. Look at inside these. There's a Back inside there, there's a you see a sensor, and then there's a bit of earthing on there for the edge of it. Looking a little bit crumpled around the edges on there, on the, if you see on the top. I don't know why, if it's just... Or if that's lettering. No, that's, that's been scratched, that. Ah, that's probably this being pushed in too far. Because it's about the same diameter as the bottom part of this lens. So it scraped itself on there. It probably gives it a good connection because that'll be the center and the silver part won't so yeah I start scratching on the actual sensor itself it's not fully around this bottom corner here hasn't got any scratches on it or oh, barely a scratch of the top part up here loads yeah well there you go that's as far as I'm going with that I don't want to go any further because I'm just terrified to electrocute myself at the moment because it will happen well, there you go, that's the Hitachi CCTV camera. Strip down. Hope you like that. Please like and subscribe. Consider following me on, on Facebook, on. Oh, where am I on? Twitter, Discord. Um, consider being a patron. Send me some stuff. 
if you want if you don't want to send me send me anything to help with the, the with the garage send me some stuff like Chris did and thanks for watching thumbs up for this one if you don't mind and I'll see you in the next video bye for now